sister. In Jesus' name. Wow. I think uh, uh, the way, you know, I understand Easter, I don't know if it is the same way you understand Easter. Because there are people who are treating Easter like one of the holidays. No. Even if you know Easter is enshrined in our constitution or worldwide to be a holiday, it's not one of the holidays. If there's something that we need to treasure, someone who can forgive you, you are supposed to go to the prison for 100 years or for life. Then someone said, no, kill me. Let this person be free. I will go for his life or her life. Can you treat that day as holiday? No. It's not one of these holidays, no. Don't treat Easter where you carry your family to say, no, we are going to Mfue, we are going. Just go when it is Ukusef Yapangwena and other traditional things. You can go to any place. But when it comes to Easter, it's a day that you need to reflect now in your life as a child of God. What have I done for this man? Your father and your mom cannot die in your place. Not even your husband or your wife or your children who can die to say, okay, let me die on behalf of my mom or my dad. They will run away from you. Are we not accusing our mothers and fathers to be witch? They are the ones who are killing us. This is what is happening. Easter is a special day in your life. Jesus remembered you on that day. When we sit down, can you give your friend a 20,000 kwacha for free? The answer is no. The way you love yourself, you want the best in your life. And Jesus gives you the best. This is why I love Jesus. Hmm. Do you know the reason why? Some of us, like personally, I'm standing here before you. If it is not Jesus, I don't think so I can stand before you. He has made me to be who I am. He rescued me from the mouth of the lion. Where the lion wanted to swallow me, Jesus said, no, 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 no. Leave him alone. Swallow me. And you are there treating Easter like one of the holidays. No. Think twice. There are people who are flying all over to say this is Easter holiday. We want to go and spend some hours. Others are drinking. Others have gone out with married men or married women. They are crucifying Jesus again. Learn a lesson from coronavirus. Hmm? Human beings are like vapor. We are here by the grace of God. Even those who are there, they are there by the grace of God. So... You need to hear the name Jesus in your heart. When you are calling Jesus, you need to hear him and Jesus must hear you. When you call him and Jesus cannot hear you, you belong to this world. You are welcome. I say you are welcome. Amen. Starting from today up to Sunday, we need to carry the full package. The whole thing started on Friday. And ended on clap for him once again. They don't know what they are missing. Those who are missing a day like this one, this is not, that's why you can't hear me saying, oh, we are having a conference. For what? No. No. The name Jesus is the reason why we are here. The name what? Is the reason why we are here. The whole thing started on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. The people who crucified Jesus are not heathens. If you read the Bible, I'll carry you there. It was the high priest where, you know, they turned their clothes because Jesus learned that I'm a Messiah. They said, this is blasphemy. 
Can you imagine? This is what is happening today. People are celebrating Jesus with their mouth. Their heart is very far from him. Jesus doesn't know your mouth. He knows your heart, not your mouth. You can say anything with your mouth, but your heart is a sacred place. Are you there? Take a seat. I was talking about spiritual what? If you remember, those were there on Wednesday. I was saying what? The power of what? Hmm? The power of what? Spiritual prayer. Jesus did not pray according to the flesh. He prayed a spiritual what? Prayer. He came to introduce that life in you and me. We celebrate Easter in a different, you know, way. Religiously, traditionally, and spiritually. Those who are celebrating spiritually, they have to experience the power of God. He came to disconnect you from what you inherit from your father, your mom, and your dad. Make no mistake. I hear a lot of, you know, uh, people saying, when you become born again, there's no need for you to be connected to your father and your mom. Look, Christianity is a constant battle. Even Jesus, who had that nature, like God Almighty, Satan has to follow him. If truly you are the son of God, turn this stone into what? A blade. If you say you are born again, then you become untouchable. Your born again is unquestionable. Whether born again or not born again, as long as you are here on earth, Satan is there against you. So make no mistake. Christianity is a constant what? But I want to bring this to you. What made Jesus to knew that he's going to be arrested and killed? Is it the disciples? Who can answer that one? Jesus knew that in the next few hours, the enemy of salvation will bounce on me. And he knew that within my people, one of them is going to do what? Betray me. Is it the disciples that tell him that Jesus... Do you know that this, this one will be the one, you know, who sold you to these people? Oh, Jesus, do you know that we hear that they are planning to come and arrest you? Hmm? I'm talking to you now. Are we not students of the Bible? Can I hear you? Yes, ma'am, there. I sit there and there. I'm young. I told you that I'm a youth. Believe me or not? Um, it's God. With God. Um, God said the angel to go and strengthen Jesus. Okay. God sent the angels to go and strengthen Jesus. Okay. Before God sent the angel, remember something happened. Now, my question is, what made Jesus to know that you're going to arrest me? It's because through the power of spiritual prayer. Uh, okay, thank you, my daughter. Who else? Uh -huh. Okay. What made Jesus to know that he, he will be crucified? It is the spiritual prayer he was praying to the Father, and then it interpreted to him because the Spirit knows what... He, who happen next, what is happening now, and what was happening in so, the past. So the Spirit of God it tell him that they are going to arrest you. Yes, it okay. revealed that. Thank you. Uh -huh. Who else? Okay. I think uh, we have the answer. Uh, is there anyone who wants to... You want to hear your voice? Okay. From my opadia. Thank you, mommy. Chapwa, my opinion, and fear popin. 
The Spirit of God was in contact with the Jesus. This is what I want to bring to you. There is no way you can speak for God if it is not the Holy Spirit in you. There is no way you can hear from him or knew what is going to happen next by your mind. No. The Spirit of God was in contact with Jesus. In fact, he was more of the Spirit than the flesh. He knew in the next three, four hours, this is what's going to happen. And he prepared himself for that. Are you there? We are celebrating Easter and we are forgetting that we are still, you know, here on earth. Life is a battlefield. This is what one man of God said. He said, life is not a plain field, but a battle what? Field. You are here on earth and you don't know what is next. You are just dancing or celebrating that this is Easter. Easter, I heard, you know, I was laughing, was it the, the other day when I, I hear one of our mothers, you know, the way they talked about Easter, I said, look at these people. If you read their hearts, those who are talking about Easter, you sympathize with them. God cannot be mocked by anyone, no. God does not know your mouth, he knows your heart. Now, listen to this. I was asking you this question. This is uh, Luke chapter 18, verse 31. I want to bring this to your attention so that you know if you are a Christian or you are not a Christian. If you are a believer, or oh, you are not a believer. Verse 31. Jesus took the 12 disciples and told them. Let me repeat. Jesus took the 12 aside and told them, we are going up to Jerusalem and everything that is written by the prophets about the Son of Man will be fulfilled. He will be delivered over to the Gentiles. They will mock him, insult him, spit on him. They will frog him and kill him. On the third day, he will rise again. Praise the Lord. He took the 12 aside. Not the whole entire world. The 12 aside. These are the only people who could understand the vision of Jesus, although somehow they were not up to that level where Jesus was. But each and every time something is about to happen, he will make sure that he will share it to them. He said, we are going up to Jerusalem. And everything that is written by the prophets about the Son of Man will be fulfilled. We are going there. Everything written about the prophets, about the Son of Man, will be fulfilled. He knew that after this, the people have been mingled with, sharing the same press, entering the same church, they will turn against me to fulfill what is written about my coming here on earth. Remember that the teachers of the law, the elders of the church, the high priests, they were calling the book of the law where everything was written about Jesus. But they could not understand his language or acknowledge him that this is the one the Bible is talking about because they were religious people. Celebrating Passover in which name? In the name of God Almighty, but rejecting the Son who has come to fulfill the promise of God in their lives.
he will be delivered over to the Gentiles. He will be mocked. Take note of these words I'm counting. They will mock him, insult him, spit on him. Three things. Mock him, insult him, and spit on him. He knew that this is what is going to happen. People will mock me, insult me. They will spit on me. If you call a fiafu akad, muriena. Are you there? What made Jesus not to respond to the insult, the beatings? The Spirit of God was in charge over his life to understand the reason why he is going through what he's going through. He came to serve, not to fight anyone. He came to introduce a spiritual way of living here on earth. You are in the flesh, but you are a spirit inside the flesh. What is happening outside his body was not an issue to him. But what was happening inside his heart, that was the main issue for him. He explained all this, they are going to insult me, mock me, and spit on me. Yes, come here, all of us inside the church, we spit on you. He explained all these things. The reason why I'm, you know, I'm sharing this message, I want you to know that there is no way you can say you are a child of God without his spirit in you. How are you going to understand your situation? How are you going to overcome your problems? How are you going to forgive those who offended you? Without the Spirit of God? That is the only way we can establish the life of Jesus. If you are not connected to His Spirit and His Word, and then you are celebrating, you don't know what you are celebrating. The people who arrested Jesus were, you know, religious people. Preaching the Word. Arresting people using the Word of God. Learn something out of this Easter. Learn something out of this Easter. Jesus was more of the spirit than the flesh. He knew they are going to arrest me, mock me, beat me, and do everything. At the end of the day, they are going to kill me. And I'm going to rise on the third day. He knew all these things. If you know that malaria is coming to test your blood, or this problem is coming, or this uh, is coming, or this, the Spirit of God will not let everything. How are you going to go through that? And the end of everything, there you'll be comfortable. If you knew that your best friend, they are going to turn against you, you will prepare yourself. You will not mind the insult, the gossiping about you, because you knew this, this is what is going to happen. But Jesus knew that the It's not a mistake. It's just that you are a blind person. You are a spiritual what? Blind person. Praise the Lord. Jesus was encouraged, not by any of his disciples. If you look at, I'm sure even if you don't read the Bible, at least you watch Jesus' movie. Hmm? After arresting Jesus, the disciples asked him, Master, can we react with our weapon? He said, no, 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 not now. They said, ah, this man, he doesn't know these people. He's praying with these people. These people, you know, can kill. They deserted him, but the Spirit of God was there with him. People of God, we are here again in the name of Good Friday. For me, Easter is every day. 
is everyday life. There are people who are pretending to say this is the old week. What about other weeks? No, you know the old week. Then after Easter, you go back to the same life. What you are saying with your mouth is not what you are inside your heart. Even the holiness you are talking about is not in you. You are just, you know, blaspheming. As a believer, the follower of Jesus, you need to live like Jesus here on earth. Whether it is Good Friday, whether it is Holy Saturday, Holy Sunday, for you to praise him, live the life that he lived here on earth. No, this is Holy Week. What about other weeks? Jesus came because of what? Sin in our flesh. Sin in our heart. So that he can remove sin and replace it with the Holy Spirit. You cannot see him physically again. But he promised to send another advocate, the Spirit of God. Who is in you if truly you are a child of God? And when you are praying, the Spirit of God has to be present. Even when you are working, the Spirit of God must be there. In your house, the Spirit of God must be there. But the problem is that we inherit this thing from our forefathers. Religious things. Idea about Jesus. Are you there? Let me take you to the, uh, the same book, 22, the one that I quoted. My, my, my daughter talked about this one. This is 42. Luke 22, verse 42. And then we go to Mark 14. Let me read this one first. This is Jesus now. Father, if you are willing, take this cup from me. Yet, not my will, but yours be done. What made Jesus to confess this? The pain was too much spiritually. He could feel that pain even before they bounced on him. He could feel that pain. Instead of him calling the disciples, please prepare yourself. These people are coming. Me, I am not ready to go with them. Or if, if they want to kill me, please defend me. He never called any of his disciples. But he asked his father, if it is your will, or if you are willing, take this cup. But not my will, but your will be done. What happened next? Listen to this. 43. An angel from heaven appeared to him and he strengthened him. The life of Christ in us, supported by God Almighty. This is why I was saying the power of spiritual what? Prayer. Bring results. When you pray according to the Spirit of God, you are bringing solution to your life. You are bringing solution to your family. You are bringing solution to your country. The angel appeared to support him. Listen to this. This is 44. And being in anguish, he prayed more earnestly. And his sweat was like drops of blood falling to the ground. Jesus. That anguish in him made him to call his father. And he sent an angel. This is the life Jesus came to introduce to you. If Jesus said, celebrate this in remembering of me, is to live like him. Is to allow the spirit of God be in you, lead you, guide you. You understand life better than anyone. Tapari o mukapata, tapari o muketa, timulu anuenu, mupa shidonse ukalami wat, mulengo kuleya, this is what, what is going to happen. Ah, do you know that within your people, there are these who are saying this. Personally, I hear this. When I'm praying, I hear that, oh, there are people who are saying this. Ushana lafulwa. 
lesangana kwe bakuti wafulwa no icho mufurirwa pantu mwachetekera pa mulomo mwachetekera panji mulomfwa bwino abantu kwisa mukim rondo la pabantu yo bachilala eh Oh, ali no kumo nanga tasha tu jipu wa mumano. If the spirit of God is the one telling you what people are planning against you, are you going to be hungry against anyone? No. You just say, Father, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Even those who are against you, you show them love. You smile. Look at the way you behave as Christians. If you hear something, that this is what they are saying about you. Everyone will see your face. And they'll start talking about you, say, I think there's something wrong with you. You see the face? See the way the face, see the way. You know, people will be asking questions. Why are they, you know, is appearance or appearance? It's like there's some, you know, each and every time you see a face like that one, there's something that she had, or there's something that he had. Jesus is the same. Hebrews 13 verse 8. Yesterday, today, and forever. Nothing that can move him. Even where they are planning to kill him, he said, we are going to Jerusalem. Everything will be fulfilled there. Can you go where they are planning to arrest you? For a, just a, 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 a simple case. Now, where they are planning to kill you, you say, let's go there. Ushtina, ichikangabwe, tieni, njemba fesingi. The Spirit of God defeated the whole entire world. My soldier defeated. The Bible says one of the soldiers said, through this man, is from above. A soldier who was mocking Jesus. Stop defending yourself in a fleshly way. Jesus laid the foundation. That this is the way to live. And I've brought the power to save you and protect you. See, it's like he's telling that, look at the way I was treated. They even killed the flesh, but they could not kill the spirit in me. Why are you scared of those who can kill the flesh? Why are you scared of those who can kill the flesh but they cannot kill the spirit the way we care our stomach this this stomach has taken over the position of God we care more of this body than your spiritual life he came to introduce this life to you are you a spiritual a person hmm? are you a spiritual person it is very easy to say yes but I want to say yes I'm a believing God at the end of our journey if truly you are sincere you possess the power of God and once the power of God is in you they will start you know, recognizing your face anywhere where you go, spiritually and physically. If you possess what? The power of God. When you cry as a child of God, who appeared to you? When you pray, when you fast, who appeared to you? Sometimes, some of you, when you fast, that's what. Yeah. You are frustrated. Why should I continue fasting? Each and every time I fast, I receive more attacks. I receive more. A servant cannot be greater than his master. And I want you to know this. You cannot grow as long as you are under a paper. When I say paper, I mean doctrine. You cannot grow spiritually. Take note of that word. As long as you are under a paper that is doctrine, where the spirit of God is not in control, continue deceiving yourself. 
that you are gathering in the name of Jesus, but you are gathering in the name of the paper. God cannot be led by any man or by any document. This is the only doctrine for him. When you believe in this book, you possess the Holy Spirit. And the Spirit of God will be in charge now to interpret each and every letter from this book. People are calling Bible, but after preaching, they are, you know, they'll go and drink or humanize or do whatever they want to use their body. But where the Spirit is in control, you cannot go against the will of God. The Spirit of God cannot allow you. This is why even Jesus could not even insult anyone. Regardless of the situation he was going through, he was more comfortable spiritually than physically. Peter tried to follow Jesus to show that boldness. He was in the flesh. The way you are trying to, to be a child of God through your flesh is not like that. He tried to follow him. He was sitting there, warming himself. Here is a girl. Ah, this one. <laughs> Even this one was, he said, no, I don't know what you are talking about. Huh? He went somewhere again, sitting down, homing himself, he said, ah, he too was, he said, mm, I don't know what you are talking about. Why? He was in the flesh. No, kumuseka ine pita te timuseke. If I ila karipa mumuviri mupashu wa kwale sanga taulipo. Okay, now mwanefe wale mamasta wabelo sumi na tuwa dina nko. Except by the Spirit of God, you will not feel the pain in the flesh. You will be comforted by the, the power of God to say the beatings are nothing. Just go to him and say, we are together. Kill us. Remember Peter promised Jesus at the that's why That's why Mulela did that all week. Who are you deceiving? You cannot deceive God. You are deceiving yourself. He knows your heart, not your mouth. God is not interested with our mouth. His interest is here. Look at your anger, your unforgiveness, your hatred. You control the word of God. According to your situation, as a child of God, no matter what situation, I cannot allow anything to disconnect me from my father. Because it's not easy for me to go back again and connect myself. There are so many people who want to be connected to him. Are you there? Are you there? I hope something is, you know, entering your heart. He came to introduce spiritual life you are in the flesh but you live like a spirit in the flesh you will not mind what will be happening outside your body whatever they, they want to do with your flesh let them do it as long as they cannot harm the spirit this is what he came for and when he prayed angels appeared to him people of God make no mistake any living church where the, the, I mean, God Almighty is being worshipped in spirit and truth. Angels are there. Angels are there present to strengthen the believers. This is why you see a man of God and a woman of God who is led by the spirit of God. These people are disciplined people. They don't move by anything. Whether you are rich or you are what you cannot Move them with your wealth. No. The one inside them is greater than your wealth. It's greater than your position. Look at our Savior. Did he recruit any rich man among his disciples? Not even one. Only fishermen. Let me see your hand. Those who have been to the lake. Uh -huh. 
Abashiranga mwaba monai. They are they are in the life of what? Hand to what? These are the people that Jesus recruited. Tasen dele po lawyer ta mwa mvapo to one of the lawyers who was the disciple of Jesus. No. Because abantu bakwata knowledge ya pali chino chalo, bali kwate chilumba. If you ba ishiva, if you ba chetekela. So Jesus had started po kusala abantu akata pali fyo bachi tashanya. Elu ambo kuba panga. Not ever sambili shi wana abantu ba nao. Umuntu nga sambili la kumuntu. Tachita understand if you mpashi wako alesa ulanda. Alanda tiftefe wa mfundile. This is the language of the Pharisees. According to the law. According to the law. But this is the honor of the law. Believe in him, you understand the law. Praise the Lord. Father, if you are willing, take this cup from me. Yet, not my will, but yours be done. Can you pray such prayer? Can you pray such prayer? The situation is tense. No one is supporting you. You look here, you look there. You can't see any hope. Just your father in heaven. You can't see him. If you look at up there, you need to hear him here. He will tell you the outcome of your situation. People will be saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. The spirit will say, don't worry. You watch Jesus move the way women was. Yeah, mueles, mueban tu vale mucho show. You and nanga ba chima vele la kol. He de la ndani beef. I need for tamba passion for Christ. Langu fi show vele ban tava ko etoluse. What about you? Momo ari ko etoluse. You are crucifying Jesus every day through your behavior. In fact. The people were against Jesus. We are not heathens. It was the church. All the plans, all the arrangement was arranged by the church. We don't know this man. They stepped forward. He started from Galilee, deceiving people. Now he has come here. He's telling people not to pay tax. Jesus never said you should not pay tax. But because he came to defeat this life of hatred, this life of lying, people could lie against him. This is an innocent man. Yes. If you love Jesus, it is not enough for you to just raise your hand. Follow him. Believe in him. Do his will. That is the only thing that can qualify you to say, truly you love Jesus. Praise the Lord. I want to take you now to the position of the church during Jesus' time. I was sharing this because some of you, when you are in a critical a situation where things are bad, you are forgetting that God Almighty is there present with you. As long as you cannot see anyone supporting you physically, you are hopeless. No. Jesus had 12 men. Among the 12, one ten against him. Kutemwenda lama, chibi, kutemwenshi. The way you love money, you are also selling Jesus again. You love money more than life Jesus gave you. Hmm? Money is good. But the love of money is what? Evil. If you love money, money will become your master. You can go to church. You'll be a leader in the church. It doesn't mean that you, you know, you live with Jesus. No. You are just saving a position. There are so many people who are saving what? Positions in the churches. And yet they are not saved. 
He prayed and the angel appeared to him. When you pray as a child of God, as long as the Spirit of God is in you, the angels will be present to strengthen you. That is my message for you. The angels will do what? Will appear to you to strengthen you to say, don't give up. Victor is your name. Forget about the pain. Victor is your what? Your name. How many people have died in the process of, you know, searching so for solution without calling God along? Uncountable. I remember one man was confessing that those who have died and timely death, we capture their souls because we kill them. But those who have died, because it is the will of God, you can't even come near them. But if you know you have died and time returns through your activities, your evil way of living, or maybe they have killed you, they will capture your soul. So when things are bad, Jesus came to tell you that I am the foundation. Live on this foundation. Build on this foundation. Don't hate anyone. Love everyone. Even those who are standing against you, love them. Can you do that? It, it, it is only the Spirit of God that can do that. Let me take you to the, uh, the, the book of Mark. This is the position of the church by then. Verse 57. 14, verse 57. Then some stood up and gave this false testimony against him. We heard him say, I will destroy this temple made with human hands. And in three days, I will build another not made with hands. 59. Yet, even them, their testimony did not agree. 60. Then the high priest stood up before them and asked Jesus, Are you not going to answer what is this testimony that these men are bringing against you? 61. But Jesus remained silent, gave no answer. People who are led by the Spirit of God, they don't answer anyhow. When you open your mouth, you speak life. Tabalandafe chilandelande. That's why mule na shakono kulandalandari. Mule sambiro kuikala kukwaeti. Not your body. Learn to be quiet sometimes so that you learn how people behave here on earth. He did not answer them. Now listen to where now the problem is. This is 62. Is it 61? 62. Before I finish this one, let me finish 61. But Jesus remained silent, gave no answer. Again the high priest asked him, are you the Messiah? The son of the blessed one. This is the answer from our Savior in 62. I am, said Jesus. And you see the son of man sitting at the light hand of the might one. And coming on the crowd of heaven. See now the reaction to the chief priest. Who was supposed to be, you know, uh, the, 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 the what? The protocol of Jesus. This man was supposed to be the protocol of Jesus as a chief priest. This is the Messiah. But he was trained by law. He could not see anything in Jesus apart from seeing someone who is an ordinary person. This is what he, the high priest tore his clothes 
Why do we need any more witnesses? He asked. You have heard. Heard what? The way this man is blaspheming. These are the people who are supposed to interpret his journey here on earth. But because they were not connected or led by the Spirit of God, they joined hands with the people of this world to crucify Jesus. We have seen the way we are celebrating Easter. I told you, no one can speak for God if it is not the Holy Spirit in you. You can interpret the language or teach the history, but bringing God where you are, it is by His Spirit. Jesus came to introduce you to the spiritual prayer that here on earth you'll be facing this. I am here to defeat sin and his activities. And when you are facing what I am going through, the answer is the Holy Spirit in you. No one is ready. We are ready to be members of the church. And we count years. Our churches is all over the world. When you go to Europe, you find the church. When you go, is it Jesus you find? When you go to heaven, there will be nothing like this one belong to this church. No. Only those who belong to Christ. The members of the church will remain here. Those who, who, who belong to Christ, they will be the one to go there. What is Easter? If it is not a spiritual foundation for the children of God who are here on earth, so that sin will no longer be your master or mislead you so that you turn against your father. The spirit of God will be there to guide you and that is the meaning of Easter. Jesus came to introduce his life in us so that we live like him and defend the truth and stand on the truth and worship him in spirit and truth and learn to live among the people of this world so that we can win them back to their God, the creator of heaven and earth. But instead, we choose to be religious people than spiritual people. Religious prayer cannot solve your problem. It is only spiritual problem that can solve your, I mean spiritual prayer that can solve your problem. You can quote the Bible, you can, whatever point you take, you can lead, you can teach in the flesh. There's no need for anyone to have the certificate for you to go and teach the Bible. No, anyone can teach, even a witch. Indo shi esha ikatirane fifulo. Apari umupa shuwa kwa lesendo shiteti mini imposition. So, I don't know if you continue like this and the world is going down. Are you calling the Spirit of God? Hmm? You remember the answer we got from our mother, our daughter, and our son there? They said the Spirit of God interpret everything before to say this is what is going to happen. As a child of God, it is not good for you to be, you know, you are not prepared for, for your departure here on earth. When it is time for you to go, even those who want to spend money on you, just say, no, just keep your money. Leave me like this. You knew that you are going. Instead of, you know, asking God, is it my time? If it is not my time, the Spirit of God will mean to me to say, no, it's, it's for three days or one week, you'll be fine. That's the way God works in his children's life. Are we against Jesus as a church? Hmm? Are we against him? Are you against him as an individual? By your activities, you will know if you are against him or not. 
Jesus came by the Spirit and introduced that life to the church. When he entered Jerusalem, he goes to the temple and discovers that they were buying and selling. He chased them. And he said, my, my father's house shall be called the house of what? Prayer. Are we really praying God in spirit and truth? Jesus will be happy to see you worshipping him in spirit and truth. He will be happy to see his spirit in you, leading you, guiding you. The disciples could not understand the situation, but Jesus had to interpret the situation to them because by then, the spirit of God was not in them. Why are you forcing yourself to speak for God and yet he did not send you? Nowadays, preaching is a career. Hmm. Experience and we are battling with these idols up to today. Hmm. I hope and trust. I'm just laying a foundation. I've brought this to the side of the church and the side of Jesus. Where are we? Are we behind the chief, the high priest, or we are behind Jesus? Where we understand every situation. Remember the Bible said that he opened their minds for them to understand what? The scripture. Nga kuli kwecho muntu wa fulia celebrator, nili laba mweba tumula ndu wapwa, kabie kunganda walino kakwa 20 years. Ah. She, teti mushani. Bambi mea mbushu mwashi nesho tulebe mbu kanale, lo sobadi fwa. You are there. Because Jesus is there protecting you, praying for you to stop what you are doing. We see people confessing with their mouth to say, I love this one, I'm a child of God. Their hearts are not like that. They are evil inside their heart, but their mouth is holy. They confess Christ with their mouth, but with their hearts, they deny him. Which side are you? Where Jesus prayed and the angel appeared to him to strengthen him. That is the life I want to live here on earth as a child of God. And that is the life I want you to live as a child of God. But the spirit of God will be there to stand for you and pray for you. Where they are wishing you bad things, angels will appear to strengthen to say, don't mind them. You are not alone. Your father is here. That is the life Jesus came to introduce to you. He did not come to introduce a traditional things where we are celebrating what and what, misbehaving, drinking beer. I feel bad. You hear this one confessing Christ. Look at the heart. There's no Christ. It's blaspheming. It is not easy as a human being to be holy by yourself. You cannot make yourself holy. It is by the Spirit, of, if you allow God Almighty to take over your life, He will send the Spirit to make you holy. And you understand that. You'll be seeing things that you cannot see with your eyes. The Spirit of God will be there to give you proper counsel. If the high priest were, I mean, to understand Jesus, this one is a Messiah, he could not behave the way he behaved. But he was carrying this book. The way we carry this book. 
This book is nothing without the Spirit of God. You can carry this one, but you are a gossiper. You are a witch. You are a murderer. You are a prostitute. But you are carrying what? Jesus came against all those things that I've mentioned. Spiritual life is what Jesus came to introduce to you. This is why I'm saying the power of spiritual what? When you pray, pray in the spirit. Even where you are quiet. A spiritual prayer is effective. You are quiet, you are not talking. A spiritual prayer is what? Is powerful. If a spirit will be quiet inside your daughter, your son, or any of your family members, you cannot hear them saying whatever you want to hear from them, but you see the behavior that something is wrong with this person. Jesus came, he never, never shouted to say, my father, my father, my father, my... even the way he was praying. Few words, but inside his heart he was burning like furnace. And things were happening. Spiritual prayer. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. Pray in the spirit. Not in the flesh. Do you know why? There is no prayer in the flesh. Prayer is in the spirit. They killed the flesh, but they could not kill what? The spirit. If you pray in the flesh, anything can kill you. When you are praying, you hear something, or you know, on top of your, your roof to say, boom. You are praying. Father, thank you. I bless you. I bless you. Holy name. You hear three times. Boom, 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 boom. I cover the roof with the blood. Boom, boom, boom. The prayer is off. The prayer is what? Off. Father, you know what is outside. Because you can see outside. You hear another one from the tomb. Bam, 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 bam. Jesus. Hmm? Fear is now praying. It is not a spiritual word. That is prayer in the flesh. Prayer in the flesh can be disconnected anytime. Praying in the spirit. You be quiet the way you are sitting down there. But you are praying. Praying. Your father in heaven is hearing your voice. He's hearing your voice. Hearing your voice. Hearing your voice. You are, no one knows that you are praying. Only answers. We tell them that this man or this woman pray to God Almighty. But when you pray like the example I'm giving you. Whatever you hear outside will make you to stop what you are doing. Sometimes when you wake up, you are having a nightmare. See the way you pray. See the way you pray. I am innocent. I am hoeing no one. And I was not there. I am not going to die. Finish before I could in the country. You finish that prayer, you go and sleep. They will come to say, why are you praying like this? Who told you to pray like that? Hey. Ah. <clears throat> this is why you know you are disturbing pastors. Mm. Prophet. I can see your grandfather is the one moving inside your house. <laughs> 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 And when you wake up, you hate your grandfather. A blind person cannot lead a blind person. They are going to fall where? In the ditch. It is only a spiritual person who can lead you and interpret your situation according to what you are going through. And there the hand has come. Jesus came to introduce this life to you. And this is my point for this Easter. He came to introduce a spiritual prayer in you. Stop depending on the flesh. Stop depending on your voice where you shout, for the God's fire, 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 five hours. Hmm? 
mafuma ku isa ya mafuma ku ya chiladi la ya tu amunyanta ola shonong according to your sweat mwa station mwa munyanta ola but the situation will remain the same praise the lord i've brought this to two sides i'll be talking about the power of god and i want you to know this just open your heart prepare your heart to receive the life of jesus when you pray hear jesus praying for you hear jesus talking to you it doesn't mean that you need to be a prophet for you to hear your father no as long as you are saved you are entitled to his power you are the partakers of that power there's no need for anyone to be a prophet or an apostle to carry the presence of god no it is a free gift when you become born again the first reward is his power in you to prepare you and protect you for that day see how many hours i've spent here i don't preach like this but because i want you to know something that jesus came to introduce spiritual what don't pray according to what you are going through if jesus were to pray according to the situation ngali ambiro kusaba ile awe fiala chilamu mwanjebera ti mukabana ine nomba tamule kontrolo la baba nti michitile yabo yabipisha elo baisa abenge elo pawo mwampere pali mwa rike futi nomba nishi ta mungu mfwanga na landa tata aina nena live wera mwefi but because he was more of the spirit the flesh could not influence his spiritual life he defeated the flesh to make sure that he contained the pain i told you peter followed him he denied jesus because he was in the flesh i told you as long as you are a normal human being they have arrested your master they are beating the, your master and blood is coming out and then they ask you a question are you together with him can you say yes the answer is no i don't know him in fact you would want i mean but if the spirit of god is in you you'll be there by then it was jesus who had the spirit and if you look at the way the churches were conducted they carried the word of god physically not spiritually that's why jesus came to introduce the spirit of god in us so that when we go through all these problems or when sin is trying to mislead you the spirit of god will remind you that your father defeated sin why do you want to go back to that sinful life are you telling me that inside the church there's no one who drinks beer and smoke hmm? i'm asking you are you telling me that inside the church there's no one who smoke and drink hmm? can i hear you please aha mule landa tomo tuli they are there even gospels are inside the church why unless the spirit of god settled in you you will live like jesus you understand the life of jesus hear the name jesus in your heart that is our prayer hear the name jesus talking to you when you call the name Jesus, Jesus called his father and he could hear his father. Rise up. Say, Lord Jesus, give me the grace to call your name in the spirit. Give me the grace to hear your name in the spirit give me the grace to call your name in the spirit to hear your name in the spirit confess that one confess that one confess that one confess that one
whatever situation, whatever you inherit from your mom, your dad, generation cases, that has been there. They are the ones who are influencing you to misbehave, to go against the love of God. Call his name. Say, Lord Jesus, give me the grace to call your name and hear your name in the spirit. Say, give me the grace to call your name, speak your name in the spirit, in Jesus' name. Yes, when you call Jesus, it is not the sound that can scare Satan and his demons. Your sound, yes. But what is important is to call his name in the spirit. Even where you are quiet, you can call the name Jesus spiritually. Even in your dream when you are sleeping, you see how hard it is for you to call the name spiritually when you are sleeping. I'm sure some of you, you have gone through this experience where for you to say, you are failing to call the name Jesus. And demons are advancing towards you. You call the name Jesus when you woke up. Jesus, ah, they have captured you spiritually. The one you are calling, you are calling Jesus of the flesh. And Jesus who can defeat your enemies, Jesus in the spirit. Say, I call your name Jesus. I hear your name Jesus. I call your name Jesus. I hear your name Jesus. Give me the grace to hear you and call your name in the spirit. Give me the grace to call you and hear you in the spirit. Declare it in the name of Jesus. That is a spiritual prayer. Jesus came to introduce to you. I call your name Jesus. I hear your name Jesus. Thank you, Father. Merci, Seigneur Thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit. Merci, le Saint -Esprit. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Merci, Seigneur Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Merci, le Saint -Esprit. I call your name. Ton nom. I hear your name. Ton nom. I speak your name. Je parle ton nom. In the name of Jesus. Dans les noms de I Jesus. call your name. Ton nom. I hear your name. Ton nom. I speak your name. Je parle ton nom. In Jesus' name. Dans les noms de Jesus. Call his name. Call his name. Appel les noms de Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name. Dans les noms de Jesus. What is there within your heart must give you way to the name Jesus. Satan and these demons cannot attack you as long as there's nothing inside your body that belongs to them. How many churches that are there in the world? Uncountable. You see which doctors, they are all over. All these gangs that you see, our children are forming gangs, they are getting evil power from these witch doctors. Because we are not calling the name Jesus in the spirit. We are calling the name Jesus in the flesh. Where Jesus cannot hear you. If we call the name Jesus in the spirit, you will see these witch doctors coming to church to surrender their, their instrument to say, I want to save Jesus. But they cannot surrender because you are their customers. You leave church, you go and pay them a visit. Hear the name Jesus in your heart. Écoutez les noms de Jésus dans votre cœur. And I want you to know that the benefits of obeying His word, the sacrifice, ha, huh, the sacrifice that this man, you know, paid for you. Ah, hear the name Jesus in your heart. Écoutez les noms de Jésus dans vos cœurs. I'm sending the name Jesus in your heart. Écoutez les noms de Jésus dans vos cœurs. Hear the name Jesus in your heart. Les noms de Jésus dans ton cœur. Hear the name Jesus in your heart. Les noms de Jésus dans ton cœur. Hear the name Jesus. Écoute les noms de Jésus dans ton cœur. Speak the name Jesus. Parle les noms de Jésus. Don't open your mouth. Just speak the name Jesus. Parle les noms de Jésus dans ton cœur. See what will happen to you. 